she'll ever be. I'm always ready. Okay, that's what she says. The camera's rolling. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Let me always mess We're up. mumbling our Let way into this. Up that beginning. Hi, that's Kathy. Oh, that's Molly. Doesn't she always look like, oh, she's so relaxed. Hi, this is Molly and Kathy. We're linen and scraps. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to jump in. Okay. Guys, you know, a lot of people say thank you to the new subscribers. And those of you who have been subscribers, welcome back. Thank you to everybody who's here. And especially thank you to those of you who have subscribed yeah. and written some of those comments. I They are over the top generous of heart. Mm -hmm. I take so okay, and that's the mushy stuff for me. Thank you. Really fun to read and it, it really does keep us kind of on track too with what people are looking to see. Um, and what we want to plan for future YouTube floss tubes. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that keeps us on track too. And I did hear a nasty rumor. Some of them want some more tutorials. So we're going to have to get busy on that. Yep. Kathy's going to have to come in the kitchen with me and record. <laughs> what she doesn't know is it, it takes so long to let it set there. Then it takes so long to bake in the oven. Then you know, It's not a long process or hard. It's just we'll have to find something. We'll, just, to we'll, we'll have to we'll kill stitch. time. We can kill we'll time in the middle. Okay. Well, I, I brought my little Santa guy, because isn't he just like adorable? Because, Molly, what oh. we have coming up over the next few weeks is our promised Christmas in July. Mm -hmm. So we've been uh, mulling that, mulling, like wine. Oh, that mulling, would be good. Mulling that oh, over. Mulling spices, uh -huh. So we're uh, putting some things together for that and getting uh, some ideas tossed amongst the two of us to uh -huh. see what we want to do. and. I'll definitely be bringing um, my parade of finished cross stitch mm -hmm. that um, is pretty easily accessible for me and some of it I don't even put away, but um, we're really excited about that. So he's kind of like our little mascot for today. Wait, she's moving him away. I know, he's cute. By the way, this is, um, a, I use this, it was a spool, an old thread spool. I use it as a scissors holder and this is uh, a gentleman on Facebook makes these, the uh, Plaid Moose Studio. And I have bought numerous uh, Santa heads. They're, like I said, carved out of spools. Mm -hmm. And I just tuck my little Christmassy plaid scissors in there. And uh, so a taste of my Christmas. My little area is ready to, to go. Oh, it's, so, dar it's darling, too. It's she really tells cute. me they have other things. Yeah, okay, now I'm going to back up. And I'm going to do, I said I had FFOs, and Kathy quickly corrected me because one of them is not quite finished. So I have a... Almost FFO. An A. -F 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 -F. I have some things oh. anyway. Okay, I'm going to get started and show you if you don't mind. Yes, I don't have a please lot. do. Don't please have a lot. Do. Okay, those of He's you so who uh, saw me doing the um, little chronic on the chronic website, they have this pattern. And I'll link it below this time. I should have done that on the first one. But I finished him, framed him. This was a frame I bought from, I'm going to tell you, Tuesday morning. And, it, of course, it was on sale cheap whatever mm -hmm. and uh, then I did add some sequins on the sparklers which is if Kathy doesn't like you using uh, glue boards or double-sided sticky boards just imagine how she loves me gluing sequins on but anyway I thought he was just cute enough He's to cute. doll up He's cute. so that's one and I I'm anxious it. to uh, let me let me hold that up longer because I'm anxious to see what little misses uh there. See how he sparkles? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's cute. He's just sweet. And I had him sitting on a kitchen counter right there yeah. on the breakfast table and the little sun was hitting him. He was cute. He was smiling at I you, so. Molly. I think so. So he anyway, so that's one. And I will link him below. He's he's a quick stitch for any of y'all who's stitching. Okay, and then the reason we're calling this an almost FFO is it's not glued in place. I could pop that out if I wanted to. This was another one of those, you know, was from the Hobby Lobby or Michaels actually. Michael's spring collection or something, so it was on sale 50 or 60 oh, percent off. Uh, Joanne's, I think that was there. I, it was somewhere, yes. Anyway, so it was a frame. So I just, if you can see, I put scrapbook paper behind you know, on the I pop that board out, turn it around, put scrapbook paper on the back that's just a beautiful little vintage text, yeah. and then I mounted, uh, attached my piece of stitch work, which I think is a black bird black, design, black bird design, um, on linen. On linen. Molly did that on linen, her Ooh. first linen. Um, and I mounted him on a piece of foam board, pinned him, you know, on. And then if you can kind of see, he's got some depth to him that way, you know. Really, really so cute. I love this little piece. And yeah. the frame is deep enough where it just stands really up. Cute. It just stands up like that. So that's my next one. It's actually really pretty. And there's a set of those um, Blackboard designs. There's And maybe to Molly, I know you had um, applied that one, but if someone were looking to do the set and switch them out <clears throat> for different oh, uh -huh. times of the year, but... Mm -hmm. Blackboard design. See, that's why I didn't attach it. Why? Because I'm going to switch them out. 
See? I had an excuse. <laughs> okay, and then I have stitched this little uh, Blackbird design. This is from a Heart Remembers, I yes. think. And uh, it's part of a larger sampler. And I wanted to put him on the top of a pin cushion. However, when I got him finished, I didn't think he had quite enough swirls and all. He was just a little small for the pin cushion that I had bought, you know, for the uh, candle holder base I had bought uh -huh. from Hobby Lobby. And I'll, so I had this frame. Uh, this was, I don't know where I bought this frame, but it was inexpensive. I can tell you that. Oh, it was from that little. Uh, we have shop. a little vintage shop in town, a okay. resale shop, and this was there. But anyway, so I think he's perfect in there, and he looks perfect in my yeah. craft room. He's very he pretty. fits in beautifully. He's so this was pretty. another piece of black. The colors design. on that mm -hmm. too are just the teal blue. It's it's like a, I like it. Blue and yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna just hold this up because I will. Yeah, I think everybody in the planet has this, but yeah. if you don't, the, he's from this book. And I'll link that yeah. below. Um, so yeah. now, when I say I'm linking it below, I'm going to link it to one shop, maybe one, two, three stitch, or a fat quarter shop, or so. I don't know where I'm going to link it to, but it'll. If you don't want to buy from them, at least you have the name. Yeah, you'll have the name. Yeah, you can search Google for the rest of it. <laughs> okay, so those were my fully finishes mm -hmm. in cross stitch. Now I want to just show them something else I did because it's fabricy and mm -hmm. it's vintagey. And this thing. is going home with me. And it's not going home with Kathy. I won't even let her touch it. Oh, it's so she cool. is not even going to touch it. So what? Oh, God. Ruckle, ruckle, ruckle. Uh, okay, I so I bought it. this. I don't know what it is. Metal rolling penny thing yeah. at that same little vintage shop, I think. And it's, you know, hollow. So I just stuck some brown paper in there. But look, I made these little pillows. And they have a mint. I use different little yeah. machine stitches around each one. And then sewed on some pretty little buttons on each one. And I did use walnut. I put like a, a nest of polyfill in there, uh -huh. made a little hole in it, and then I filled and filled, like and filled and filled and filled with uh, the two. walnut, crushed walnut shells, yeah. which I bought from a pet website. So I got a bag that's about half as big as Kathy, and I don't know, it was $10 or something. But uh, better than, you know, it was cheaper than buying it from a craft so store. So walnut shells, crushed walnut shells, mm -hmm. a lot of people use cat kitty litter some people it was use. called lizard lizard. lizard 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 litter and today I watched uh, one of the gals on on YouTube um, apparently you can go to your local hardware store hers happens to be like a small neighborhood guy and buy sawdust ah and that would smell pretty cheap. yeah and then um, I, if I'm not mistaken it was farm girl uh, she even had a picture of you can buy sawdust flakes thin sawdust flakes and she had made a drum out of them. Oh, and okay. I think that would work really, really good too. So some different medias. And I heard a rumor, but I, again, stuff. don't quote me on this. But when I grew up and we had the you know tomato pin cushions, mm -hmm. and they had the strawberries on yeah. it. Yeah. I think walnut shells or crushed pecan shells or something were, were what were in there, and they help sharpen your needle a little bit or something. So, and I like the weight of them and the yeah. feel of the smushiness of them. But these buttons right here, I don't know if you can oh, see, yeah. those nice. are vintage. The ones in the middle, the square pillow. Mm -hmm. When I say vintage, those that the shell buttons, that one big one, that Mother button is pearl. old, 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 old. What old. a great way to. So I wanted to. It's a good little showcase for Save her a treasure. And then what I did want to tell you, um, the two stripe pieces. This check piece was something I've had for I don't know ten or fifteen years in my fabric stash, and uh, it's what I used to put them. I made that flat fold. Um, piece yeah. you know, frankly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two pieces are stripes and the back of them, the solid red, whoops, I fall, and the solid red, were actually from Hobby Lobby. They were on one of their end caps and they're where you buy little fat quarters tied together yes. or fat yeah. ass, I'm not sure, uh, tied together. And they were red and white, not anything but red and white. So of course I had to coffee dye those to get these them. These feel really nice. Don't they feel nice? I like yeah. them. They're squishy. They're squishy. Yeah. But anyway, so the, uh, I had coffee dyed those so they'd be the... Very nice. Okay, so Kathy, what do you have for a fully finished? <coughs> well, the monogamous <laughs> girl that I am, I actually made my, out of scraps, I made my scissor holder. And I got the design off of Etsy. And this we is started out with an empty this is block. Mine. Yep. Mm -hmm. But you gotta love these little girls, and here's a little Liberty one. Oops see here she says liberty on there so and the, um I, I had the block painted the block glued these on did some mod podge stained the daylights out of them sanded stained them again 
Um, and then I even had some little corners that I put it, whoa, put at the top so that uh, just to decorate it up a little bit. And my cute little scissors that fits inside. And we even got felt on the bottom. I love making those. And I think for our Christmas in July, we're going to have a little, um, a little, not necessarily a tutorial, but we're going to be making one that is all Christmas mm -hmm. on the side. So we'll, uh, this block is probably about two inches by two inch block. And so if you guys want to work that along with us, find four pictures and then one for the top. We'll be able to glue and paste and stain and... And these yeah. pictures, just so you know, if a, uh, you know, I'm conscious of copyright laws, yeah. I never want to... Now for personal use, I might bend the rules a little bit, but if, I, if it was anything I want to show, share, or sell, I'm real conscious of copyright laws. These pieces of artwork were actually, uh, we purchased those on uh, Etsy. Etsy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. hopefully she's followed all the rules, but you can, I downloaded myself some from some of the museums right. and they clearly say on the uh, description of the art, it's a public domain so, because they're so old. Yeah, the, uh, these we paid the for. The artists are long not, since dead. Not mm -hmm. gonna sell these, but you no. can go to Etsy and buy her. Um, by her design, she's got many different ones out there, but these just kind of tugged at my heart, and so I, that's what I do with that. And then I actually, um, this was the pin cushion that I was telling you about mm -hmm. when I couldn't find it, but I, it unearthed itself when I was cleaning because my sister was coming because we were going to the attic. <laughs> and I found it, so I will be looking for a pin cushion mm -hmm. now as well. Molly will probably be looking for a pin cushion, so I did find that. And then, as I mentioned, um, my sister was here visiting from Wisconsin. She's a doll. And we sat with Molly here, kind of went to class, if you will, and made, um, I taught her how to make a floss, uh, floss book for her floss. And I just happened to find this paper very quickly in Molly's little stash. Didn't really think that, okay, I don't have babies, I have grandbabies, but um, I love little kids. and went home and I had this shoe that for the life of me I was moving around from one section of my charm box to another thinking I don't know when the heck I'm ever going to use this shoe. Well look how darn cute that shoe is. That he's darling. On there and then I have the ribbon um, that ABC 123 ribbon on there mm -hmm. so cute mm -hmm. uh, cute little floss book and did the same thing punch your holes floss book and if you haven't seen it already we do have a tutorial out there on how to make these. We are thrilled um, of the number of people that have sent us pictures of their floss books, and we're just glad everybody's using their paper mm -hmm. um, and uh, putting some of that stuff to good use, and we're, we're happy to see that too. So, yes. And Kathy, I thought it was just Kathy. It's genetic, I found out. Her sister was just pulling stuff, putting stuff together. She had bought some uh, trims, I think, somewhere along the way. Yes. Uh, not at the attic, but somewhere along the way. And uh, she just putting stuff together just yeah. artistic then she opens her phone and starts showing me all, all the those. gorgeous she's very talented. things she's very, she's very made, talented so yeah. it's genetic so it's, it was fun to have yes. her down and um they of course are back in wisconsin already mm -hmm. and um maybe she's planning her next trip i don't know but i, I hope so at the end of the day i think she's, she has a really good time she's not taking my place next time you go to the attic <laughs> next time i go to molly I truthfully go. uh the smile on her face when she walked in the door was priceless just to see it was just the awe of, oh my gosh mm -hmm. so if you have not been to the attic which I'm sure many many stitchers have already it is truly a little in my book a little piece of heaven here on earth and takes so, you away to a whole different world Kathy sent me one picture yes. of her and uh, Jean yes at the attic and it's beautiful so when she got back of course I asked her so Kathy where's the video you did yeah. I didn't think of that know she was so busy shopping I was. I was busy shopping. Um, and talking to old friends and shopping and catching up. Yeah. Like, but, uh, um, so the reason I went out to the attic was um, to catch up with, I don't know what got in here, to catch up with uh, Jean and Nicola. This is a sampler that I stitched for Hands Across the Sea, uh, the Mary Hillier. Um, it's my first Bristol sampler that I stitched, and it is back in England. It went back with Nicola back to England. I'm not sure. I think she's going to be bringing it back to the attic in the fall in, in August. Um, it'll hang there for a while and at some point I'll get to bring her home. But you can see my initials, wrong way Kathy, K, B. I snuck them in there on the bottom. So it's kind of cool to have a picture of a sampler that you stitched um, on the cover. Uh, I will say this much, I tr 
truly appreciate the Bristol Orphanage samplers. Mm -hmm. I know this is not going to be a stitch for everybody. Um, the diligence that these these kids went through to stitch a perfect sampler, um, and this isn't even a big sampler. This is maybe like a mid-sized sampler compared to what I saw out of the out of the Bristol um, gathering, if you will. Very very cool to see them all. I know that uh, Kathleen Littleton had some Bristol samplers there. Um, Dutch Treat. She had a couple Bristol samplers. Of course, Nicola had hers there. Uh, Vicki from Needlework Press had the paper element of the orphanage samplers. So can I back you up just yeah. a minute for us newbies who have no idea when you're talking about Bristol samplers? Mm -hmm. What is a Bristol sampler now? Bristol sampler is the location of the orphanages that a gentleman took orphan children in okay and kept them there long term unless they were until the point where they were able to find work mm -hmm. or get married mm -hmm. um, and Mary this gal there's a little story behind her she actually was in the orphanage and I, I I don't have the date of exactly the time frame on it but she ended up marrying a gentleman that was of course being an orphanage already you're somewhat of uh, you don't have much money right it did not have much money mm -hmm. and she ended up in her lifetime and I have to say the subtitle under here is perfect for her she ended up marrying a gentleman that was I believe he's 40 some odd years older than her mm -hmm. and had some money and so at the end of the day even though she was in an orphanage tragic story her dad evidently passed away in a somewhat of a train accident that he had his feet crushed and I think her mom passed away a year later and then um, she and the, the aunt took the two kids in for about two years mm -hmm. and then finally uh, took them to the orphanage to the Bristol orphanage mm -hmm. and that's where she lived I think she was 16 went to work as a servant and then met this other gentleman who eventually did marry her but 40 some odd years later so mm -hmm. we hope Mary ended up having a very happy life I hope so. later on so but mm -hmm. if you look at these I, I actually I, I like this one I think it's one of the I don't know maybe I'm partial to it because I stitched it but I think it's one of the prettier ones because yeah because a lot of the Bristols are very teeny tiny detailed little alphabets all the way across um, and I just think this one is pretty um, hands across the sea I think has five uh, or uh, Bristol samplers now there's one with a cow that I love and I'll have to get that one okay. now that I've stitched this one but so that was my mm -hmm. reason for visiting so um, the attic and then of course so when you have fully finished this, they're fully finished and on their way to I, I know she's on her way to she's like the world traveler mm -hmm. Back she home. traveled she went from here to England back here and is going back to England again so little Mary's getting around that's for sure okay so Kathy just tapped on the table gently sorry but I have gotten comments and I apologize I pounded on the table I don't mean to enthusiasm but I did tease Kathy I said you remember there was, used to be a high school class where they give you an egg and you got to take care of the egg and if your egg dies oh, yeah. you shouldn't even think about getting pregnant in high school yeah. so if your egg survives I guess you can get pregnant in high school but anyway I'm, I'm taking that thing. There's a baby on the table. If I hurt the table, I hurt the baby. No, <laughs> so I'm being very careful. I don't want to hurt my little baby. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll be calling social services. That's it. I don't want to talk oh, about if I hit the right table, I hurt the baby. Don't hurt the baby. So I'm trying to be more conscious of that. Okay. So that's, um, and she is fully finished. And like I said, I finished stitching that a little while ago, and she's framed now and everything like that. Um, last time we did a video, though, I'm going to quick show this because oh, I love this. I love this. Um, this is on our one of our intros too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it up so you, okay. they see your face. Okay. Mind. Um, that's America, and it is a blackbird design. Unfortunately, that design is out of print. I do not believe there's any works, if you will, into reproducing it. Um, I'm fortunate enough that I that I actually purchased a copy and uh, stitched it up. Absolutely love it. This was an antique frame. I framed it again myself. Um, I did have this frame cut down and honestly the framer gentleman that cut the frame down cut it down a little closer than what I would have liked but mm -hmm. it's fine I it's, mean it's comes good. right up to the edge I like them snug tight anyway so and I filled in my America I know a lot of people are leaving that background behind the flag blank um, and whatever you do to your liking 
but I used I want it to look more like a washboard kind of effect to it mm -hmm. so I've got quite a bit of variegation in that background there but so when you stitch with over dyed floss mm -hmm. which this is mm -hmm. I, I've watched YouTube's where they say to do, do it two stitch different ways. I fold mine in half and do the loop and method, so I'm getting less of a a variegation a variegation yeah. but it's still pretty and but you did it with the two threads together this I, is one thread this oh, is one, one thread, thread. yeah no, one so thread. I'm okay, okay with one thread but well, you still have to decide if you want to go stitch every single cross stitch as you go or do the first path and then come back and cross the path so if I were to take over dyed thread and I were to make my complete X make my yeah. same complete X I'll get more of this you look. will get more of that okay. look Whereas um, if I stitch across half, so then come back and half. Back. But it, again, it depends upon the thread. In fact, I was pulling some threads this morning, and some of these overdyes don't have much of a variegation at all. That, this is true. Um, and actually, this is probably a little bit heavier, too, than... Oh, I keep going the wrong way. A little heavier than what I would have liked, but it, it's growing on me, and I, I really do like it. I like, I like it. it now. I like the, the background, the way it turned out. You don't like it, I'll take it. Yeah, no, okay. no. We'd have to make a trade. Oh, no. And I'd have gone ahead. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I'd have to trade my entire room so, for that one thing. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to show that. Um, okay. And then I wanted to thank one of our viewers because you all know by now, if you've watched our videos, I like to do my own framing. I like to take an old frame and, and refurbish it a little bit, maybe some uh, cutting off. I might have to resize or I might restitch my sampler a little bit different size-wise. Um, or at the end of the day, well, I might have to re-glue it, which has been mm -hmm. the case on most of them. But one of the ladies, um, and I'm so sorry that I don't have her name, told me about this. You wouldn't think this is much of a tool, but it is. So this has a winch on it, and it has four corners. I'm not going to open it up because the, the quill or whatever, the uh, tape here is extremely long. But it has four corners, and the middle then has the winch that you tighten the corners. So if you glue, you can get a nice snug, snug fit. Are those corners movable? So yes. So that you can put them They're on your corner? They're movable on within the, so the tape rides through the little pathway. That's brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. And it works great. That is brilliant. Now, I will tell you, this is my second one, because the winch didn't work on the first one. Okay. But it, that happens. Um, That's all right. They were good so I'll, I'll let Molly know what this is, but I wanted to think. It's a J something 15. I think the 15 is the 15 feet of... of uh, wow. Yeah. So you, you can do, do from a big pretty to big little. size, pretty big one. But I, I purchased it on Amazon. It was like 15 bucks. Um, what a wonderful... Well one. worth. Well, if you're doing your own framing and fixing them up and gluing them back together, it's a great way to hold that frame in place for those 12, 24 hours that... Um, you're Instead of three hands, you got four hands. Yeah, just about. it's so just handy. Great. So uh, thank you to the gal that put me on to that. I did take. I had one tool that I was using that it was very cumbersome. I couldn't even really get it to operate correctly mm -hmm. the way it needed to be. So um, I want to thank the gal out there for that. So and great, she great did. tool. For that. Pretty things with frames. I'll tell yeah. you that. So, so we had. She's gonna be looking at old place. I, you know, I ended up going by Hobby Lobby or Michaels for it half off or something. Really, but really she well. finds these gorgeous antique frames. Old frames. Yep. Oh, Gotta love them. Got a couple boxes of them. Okay, Senorita. So, do you want me to show, you got your whip, so why don't, Molly's gonna I'm gonna off show you my whips. whips, and then you're gonna see her whipping them. But anyway, yeah. it's cute. Let me just yeah. show you. Okay, one of the things that I was so anxious to do, I love this. It's from Teresa Cogart, who was, if I had a list of favorites, she'd be somewhere in top one, two, one, two position. That's I'm telling you. Awesome design. Awesome design. And of course, <laughs> the saying is those who deny freedom deserve it not for themselves. And I couldn't agree more. So, this is as far as I've gotten. And look, I can actually say what kind of fabric it is because I left the label on. It's a picture this plus, I think, uh, doubloon Ada fabric. So, of course, I'm on my, back to my Ada. Whew. Uh, relaxing, <laughs> and also this is as far as I've gotten on it in a, probably three nights or Look so. Look at how that's coming And along. it's gonna be cute, I think. It's yeah. gonna be cute. So that was one of my whips, and really again, cruised on um, that. those were the little thread drops I made to, yeah. you know, stick my threads on. I'm missing one color of them. I've got to it's a DMC or it's a Americana. Oh, Americana. Is the color. Oh, is it Americana. a Weeks or it's one of those. One yes, of those? Okay. I don't. It's something. It's one of the overdyes. Hold on, just a minute. I'm I don't know what it is. That's okay. Uh, that's anyway, so I, I know you know. Yes, yeah. I've got something in my stash now because I've started collecting threads. Okay, the next thing that I did a little bit of a whip in, 
I love this. It's going to be super simple. It's going to be a quick stitch. I love it. I might and have to get that, Wally. I'm really liking that. Okay. You know, you say that, and you know, I get so far. Oh my God, she wants to do something I did. Not like I did, but some pattern. Really the other like day, Carol it. on Sawbox Stitchers, who I adore, bought a pattern that I showed. <gasps> I was, I was like, I was laying in bed. If I hadn't been laying down, I'd have fallen back. I mean, it oh was. Oh my God, uh, she's a sweetheart sorry. too. She's mentioned us a couple and of times. And prolific, so, yeah. gorgeous stitcher. Yeah, she is. And I just, I, she's one of those ladies you just see and you're thinking, I could go to a retreat with her. Oh, she yeah. looks like my kind of humor. She'd and, be uh, fun. Uh, you know, she, I like her. We get in trouble. And uh, <laughs> she wouldn't have to worry about me trying to steal her samplers, let me tell you. The, those look like complicated things she does. Yeah. Anyway, okay, Love back to the story. This is from Hands On Design. Mm -hmm. It's three little pillows. I'm probably not going to finish them just like that, but I'm going to do something. And uh, anyway, so this, here's the thread color. Just nice, bright. Yeah. Uh, Love the colors. Thread colors. Why aren't they playing pretty there? Okay, anyway, so just, you know, a few little colors. And then I'm stitching oh, it on. Um, yeah. And I have one of my little thread jewelry things on there. Yeah. It's from Color and Cotton, and it's Boardwalk. Isn't that? I think that is the coolest color, too. So I started in the bottom corner because I don't know why I started in the bottom corner. Because I just wanted to measure in. I have just enough fabric. If I fold it in half to do two of them. Yeah. Oh, I want to brag just a little bit. This is 16 count. This is not even 14 count. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's over here stitching on 40, 40 count linen or something. I'm up to 16 count. Either. But look, it's just darling and quick as a button to stitch. And I'm going to love that it. fabric. Too. I'm good. I, love I the fabric. like that color. Now, the only thing I will tell you about this fabric, it's taking me a second to get used to. It feels like baby clothes or something. It's so soft. Is it soft? It's okay. soft. Oh, that when, is it's, nice. when, when it's in your hand, you're like... Now, did you wash that? No, ma'am. Yes. This is just how I came in. I like that. But anyway, but it's soft. It's I almost do. like, you know. And uh, it's 16 count. If you shimmy it just a little bit one way or the other, you kind of lose your holes. It's Ada. Yeah. But you can, you know, get it back. But I love this I, so far. I Thank you. I the design. Is, Thank you, Kathy, for I making this design. I love it. I, I might have to get okay, that Okay, so one that's now. whip number two. Now, this one, you know, I'm bragging on doing 16 count. Yeah, I would now. Now we're back on a coarse, hard, <laughs> board-like piece of Ada that came in a tube wood. from a... Yeah, it's wood. Woven wood. Uh, you know, I got it on yeah. a tube from Joanne's or somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, so this is as far as I've gotten on here. Wait a minute, Kathy. I've managed to... What have I done it's here? Just Oh, he's on my... Don't move that pen, for oh, God's yeah, sake. Oh, yeah, the pen. Oh, my God. There's been a lot of counting on it with that pen. Yeah, I was trying to count to see how far across I was. So that's as far as I've gotten on him. And it's a heartstring samplers. Yeah. And what is the name of it? Another good saying, they... And on the history of this, they say it was attributed at one time to Benjamin Franklin, but people, what they're thinking is it actually came from... Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Oh, where, where, where liberty uh, dwells. Where liberty dwells, there is my country. And uh, mm -hmm. that's... You know, we take some things for granted, I'm afraid, too often. But isn't that a sweet oh, little yeah. pattern? Because you but know my favorite is that little... That little eagle. That little eagle. But can you feel how stiff that boy yeah, is? I mean, that fabric yeah, is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that that is some stiff adorable. fabric. Now, are, now, if you crinkle it a little, there's yeah, a little... Yeah, it'll there, soften up. It'll soften up. Are, but, uh, are you going to... It's this big. It's what big. was I thinking? But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to do a drum? Well, Plus you know, we had talked idea. about uh, a pin doll oh, or something, yeah. but pin cushion doll? I think this may be one of the first pieces I actually go get somebody to professionally frame, you know. Yeah. So, uh, That's very anyway, cool. but it, it looks to me like there's not a lot of stitching on that. Am I deluding myself? No, it's, there's, it looks like, well, that. okay, there's counting. <laughs> Yes, There's a lot of but going. the thing is, like the border is just stitch one, skip one, stitch one, yeah. skip one. But you I, do I can that do that. How many times? Yeah. One hundred and twenty-five. Oh, yeah. Got so, that down. I, no, it was one hundred and five on the straight mm -hmm. side. Yeah. Anyway, so I love this little yeah, pattern. Yeah, too. So whether it's a drum or a framed piece mm -hmm. or a pin cushion doll, let me finish it first. You know. Yeah. So those are my whips. Oh no, I have one more to show you. Yeah, your Christmas um, one. This was that Bothy Designs Christmas. I don't know why I'm bothering to show y'all, but uh, y'all seen it before. you've got some movement on it. I've got, I've, ooh, I'm loving it. Now, Kathy did tell me not to put the uh, gold threads in because this thing is gold thread heavy. I would just wait till... Till I'm through. Yeah. So here's my thought, Kathy. I'm yeah. going to wait and torture myself for a huge amount of gold stitching at the end. I shouldn't torture myself a little bit along the way. But, I mean, like, it, it's soft gold. But anyway, the moral to the story is, I don't know if you can see, that tail has like 17 colors. No, it's got about six or eight colors in that tail. So there's going to be a lot of confetti work. Yeah. Um, 
But if you can see cool. that partridge. Yes. But I am loving it. Yeah. I'm loving it. That's going to be a pretty me. decent size, too. Yes, ma'am. I yeah. think so. But I just, I'm loving stitching it. It's pretty, fun, fun, fun. Pretty decent size. Okie dokie, that was my whips. Well, I have a whip, um, and I'm loving my whip. It's My beautiful. monogamous whip. It's um, beautiful. So, last time I showed you, I had gone to what was new to me, um, the, uh, it's called the Wishing Thorn, and Beer Get. Uh, Tolm Tolman is the gal that is the reproductionist of the sampler and this happens to be Sarah Plummer and I'm cruising on Sarah I hope you get likes how far I've gotten those are my threads mm -hmm. I absolutely love this sampler and I'm gonna stick with her until she's done and I really want let me show you a picture of the finished yeah, sampler I am so sorry I'm like a drunk driver well there it's we haven't figured that all out yet we should have a big arrow up there. And I'm waiting for my audition with the weather station, so I've See? got to get trained. <laughs> um, so that's... Oh, there, perfect. That's Sarah. And there was a, a lighter picture that's on the antique, and then she does give you a picture of a lighter one that... Uh, oh, wrong way again. There we go. That uh, someone had stitched. I don't know if a beer got stitched that or not. I love these colors. I would... I would encourage you to go to her site. Um, not only does she have some other beautiful samplers, and I think uh, most of them are PDF. I know, isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. um, but she also sells some really cool uh, accessories. And one of them, the William Morris, uh, oh my gosh, his designs are just phenomenal. And I looked at that. In fact, I sent uh, Birgit a, a tech, an email earlier today, but I haven't heard back. But I wanted to find out what her, the Raven tote mm -hmm. bag that she has in there. If you are into Halloween or fall or Ravens, um, I want to find out what the fabric is of that tote. And you showed me a tapestry-ish type. And then uh, she bag. has uh, like floss bags, small like project bags out of the William Morris designs. And one of them is the Fox. And, just, and it wasn't expensive. I mean, no, it was, they weren't you know, that expensive. She pays for her um, work, just but it was beautiful. absolutely beautiful. So I, I really encourage you to go to her site. Um, she's also been in touch with me. There's going to be some releases, new releases coming up um, shortly from her, and I'm, I'm excited to share that information too um, when she kind of passes the word that we can. But I absolutely love. Um, mm -hmm. This sampler, I think it's going to be really pretty. I'm going to tell colors. you though, I struggled with that brown. When I was out at the attic, I even purchased new uh, Belsois, uh autumn leaves. I think is what it was. Four skeins of it, and I thought, you know what? I really like the color of the the autumn leaves. I thought I'm going to take all that brown out and restitch that. Crazy lady that I am. Well, I got home. I still like my pecan pie. Pecan pie is going to stay. I'm going to see if I can do this without telling myself the wrong way. Um, pecan pie is going to stay. Mm -hmm. I love the, the depth and the richness of that particular brown. That is beautiful. So I'm on the pot on the bottom, so I'm thinking I'm going to be able to get that done and then kind of work my way up with flowers. And as I mentioned last time, too, I think I have a frame that I can play with it. Um, so that's my whip. Okay, what am I have to get? You know, I was born in southeast Texas. so that's What did what I say? So this comes from that southern twang that... Oh, did I say y'all? No. Whoops. Whoops. Where were you born? In Wisconsin? Wisconsin. Packer. So what kind Jeez. of... What's the color of that brown? Pecan pie. Pecan? It's pecan. <laughs> pecan. <laughs> pecan. And I'm making... We know. We grow pecan pecans. fudge for butter pecan oh, fudge. Oh, no, you call whatever you want if you bring that fudge over. But uh, <laughs> no, I, we used to tease all the time. Uh, I grew up in a town called Groves, and it was called Groves because there was groves of pecan trees. And you could always tell when there was somebody from up north because they called foreigner. them pecans or a pecan, you know, it was a yeah. pecan, pecan, pecan. How do you say it, pecan? Pecan. 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 Uh -huh. So a pecan, it's not a pecan. <laughs> pecan pie. Anyway, yeah, a pecan, no. It's pecan. Anyway. Speaking of uh, Beer Gets Raven bags, Molly made me these. Are those not the best? Oh, that was another piece of a... Uh, Molly, you need to make I buy piece. some digital artwork, and they're commercial. You know, I can, you, no, I can no, do them, so they're thing. legal. But what I did was I chose the print for the background, I chose yeah. the print for the flowers, then I layered the raven on because Kathy oh, had to have a raven. Oh, my God, and I, like, made her print these, like, 
right there. Oh, I couldn't get her out of my house if I wouldn't print those things. But so I want to tell everybody, too, in the junk aisle, the Clarence, Clarence, Clarence aisle, mm-hmm. I think it was Joanne's. So they had these little books. I'm like, okay, they didn't have the hole and they didn't have the corners done. I bought that book. I think it was like 50 cents. I bought mm-hmm. like four books. So it was a little tag. Came home, punched them, and I've got myself some really cute little... And they're nice weight. Yeah, they're nice weight. They're like pretty cardstock. So I have pretty little... Uh, so can I? I have a question yes, to ask. Ma'am. I want to back up just a bit. Okay, I have what? asked a uh, last video about. Um, oh, and we didn't say this is video number six. Ooh, uh, floss two number six. It's six. That one. It's six. Um, anyway, I had asked some people about Threadworks floss oh, yeah, to see if yeah, they yeah. liked it. And she thank you, the house. thank you. The, oh, no kidding. And hers too. She just didn't know. But. Uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who told me about Threadworks. I love the colors, so I just was hoping y'all liked it. So I bought some. Now, this is just a few of the colors I bought. But so, I, so my theory was, and I think I mentioned this to you last yeah, time. This Rosewood is what I want to do. Yeah. This yeah. Rosewood Manor. Mm-hmm. They've done it in more browns and oranges and things. And I'm going to mm-hmm. turn around and show you the back. It isn't that pretty? But I wanted a little bit more. Uh, I tried to get those colors and then a few more bright ones. And I'll... Well, boy, this stuff feels good, and the colors are beautiful. Not as variegated as I was thinking it was going to be, mm-hmm. but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It'll be it'll be good to know when you how you feel about the coverage when right. you start stitching uh-huh. with it. Yeah. And the other thing, I did tease Kathy. You know, I remember she's coming home from the attic, and I'm just this is what I've got to make me happy. Not from the attic, I bought it from uh, online. But anyway, uh, the variegations are just beautiful. But it came like you twist the thread. Then you twist it, then you bend it in half, then you twist it, then you bend it in half, twist So they were little bitty things I twisted up about this like long. They, they look like little peanuts, Mr. Peanuts. But anyway, <laughs> beautiful. No, beautiful. But when I unrolled them, my hair is naturally curly, and by curly I mean kinky frizzy. That's what this looked like. It was like little bitty things like this. It looked like, you know, I had to iron my floss. She, I, don't I iron called my her. I think I called her from the attic. I think she told me she was ironing floss. She, what are you doing? I said, I'm ironing floss. I, I think what? I, I think that's what you were I don't doing. usually, you know, I don't iron stuff. I like, I've but, never uh, heard of anyone that irons I had to iron floss. floss. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but there was no way I could have used it like that. Like, no. But it's, it feels delicious. You know what um, Jean Barish does? She has a little sponge that's just barely damp, and she pulls her thread through it. It's not a bad idea. The thing is with the variegated though, obviously you always run the gamut of the risk of, you know, some color transfer. But better that I find out yeah, early Yeah, that's late. true. That's yeah. true. But so, uh, so if you do run into it, you can either iron it like, or like Molly does. Hopefully never again. But yeah. I will probably, I did buy some other colors of this too. They're in my floss books. So pretty. Yeah. Some of their neutrals, you know, like I like a, a white but not a white. Right. Or a cream but not a cream. They're Really pretty color. Yeah, but they uh, look gorgeous. These colors look them. absolutely gorgeous. I to iron them. Okay, now back to where you were. I'm sorry, I just wanted to say. No, I just wanted to show off the floss. We got sorry, got Susan down. I want everyone to go to the Wishing Thorn, and I think they'll have some awesome things there. And and really, what I have uh, left is Paul. So you know how you go to a comedy club or something, they have the opening act, they're not that funny or something. I'm going to show you my little haul. Little haul. And then Kathy's going to show you her attic haul. My attic haul. I didn't even get a lousy t-shirt. <laughs> I don't think she's got t-shirts. I didn't get nothing. Nothing. I think she's nothing. got t-shirts. That's the lie. She brought me home some little. Okay, so <sighs> on my haul, uh, one of the things I did buy, and I'm going to tell you I bought this from an Etsy store, and I hope I'm not lying. Looking ahead, boy, we got some Christmas things started. But anyway, uh, but I had to have this trick or treat because while I was waiting for the thread works to come in, and all those gorgeous fall colors, I went to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or somewhere and bought a bunch of really pretty fall colors, and two of them are variegated, which you're not going to probably be able to see on camera. Maybe here's the other. Oh, here it is. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that those are variegated, but they're just as pretty as they can be and gentle variegation. But anyway, so I have bought these colors. So then I had to find a pattern. You had to find a pattern for the <laughs> floss. Bought, you ever bought jewelry Usually, before, yeah. shoes before that you got to find Usually an outfit to go with? buy the, the pattern. But, but I floss. love it. Now, this is not variegated. It's just she stitches, kind of heathers up one color into another right. and all. So I like that little pattern. I'll link it yeah. below. It's from Axaby. Yeah, XB. Is that a... XB. XB, okay. Uh, there. And then my next haul, Kathy went to the attic, and she did send me a picture of a, 
the Ada selection of fabric. Mm -hmm. And so I got three colors. I'm so proud. And they're bigger pieces. So yeah. they're nice size when we get a couple of projects. On. They're all 14s and yeah. they're 18 by 22, 18 yeah. and a half by 22 or something. Three colors. But it's Derby, Linen, and Country Mocha. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty. And I can't wait because I needed some more, yeah. more vintage authentic look. Okay. And then the last thing I want to talk about on haul is yes, I'm a stalker. Uh, besides stalking her work and I'm nervous. <laughs> she, I was this I girl watched, now irons her floss and she's a stalker. I watch all these videos and just <laughs> fall in love with everything you know people show. Not everything, but the things that hit my fancy. I'm like, I got to have it, got to have it. So I was watching one of my favorite channels ever is Mama loves Mama loves you GB. Mm -hmm. I want to say mommy. Mama loves you GB, and it's her name's Michelle. I'm sure everybody knows her. She's from England, and I l just really admire her work. And thing. Well, she showed that she had got some patterns from a magazine that she bought digitally, mm -hmm. which is downloaded. And they're from 2006 to 2012. So we're not talking about new magazines, but it was called The Gift of Stitching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she oh. mentioned, I, I don't quote me on this, watch her video. It's, I, I could probably link that below. Um, she mentioned that I think she paid thirty nine ninety five. I don't know if that was pounds or dollars. She was equating it to, but anyway. But I went on their website. They happened to, happened to have the subscription for those ten years or six years, whatever it was, uh, on sale for twenty nine or twenty seven ninety nine or something. Well, I had to have it, so I bought it. And I printed a few things out, and I wanted to just show you a couple of them. She showed some, and I'm like, oh, I've got to have it. Oh, but yeah. the, the limit with that is, in most <laughs> magazines, they had several series where they break a big pattern into four or six so you're, you know all six magazines but this was one i love this it's not is that can i call that a sampler yeah i think it's, it's officially we're gonna call a, that a, sampler. a little bit of a feel too it's got now, the verse it's in orange which is odd to me yeah i'm gonna do it probably in reddish orange you know trying to take more red but I love this, and it was, if you can just split it in four, it was done in those four parts. But it's I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, right. they're old familiar carols play. Right. And each one of these yes. snowflake corners is a different snowflake, you know. So it's that was my from... my absolute favorite Christmas song. So this was from, uh, the last of it was December 2010, so it would have gone into September or something. Maybe that one started. Um, and the history behind that song is phenomenal. So if you... Uh, get the chance to look up some information about how that song was written and how he came about writing it. Amazing. Especially okay. in times, you know, that are tough. So I encourage everyone to take a look at that. I, just, I can't wait to stitch that. It's, I want to see some rustic bells, you know, rustic yeah, bells. Yeah, I, I think just, I can't. the colors are going to be it's pretty. Do it really nice. It's yeah. very pretty. Yeah. Okay, so then this one was two separate patterns, but I want to put them together. This from November 2008 was a prairie schooler, uh, Santa, mm -hmm. who I just think is darling. Mm -hmm. Ho, ho, ho. All of theirs and are. then they had a pattern from, who is this pattern from? Kathy Haberman. Oh, here's And Teresa design. Curry. Is that her? Mm -hmm. Get yeah. out of here. Okay, so this was from the November 2009. So kill the Santa off this one, kill the border in the middle, keep the border at the bottom, put that other Santa on the top. <laughs> And I'm going to make this. So in other words, I want this Santa on the top. And then underneath it, I want it. It's that time of the year when it's good to be fat and jolly. And then the bottom border. Right. Does that make sense? I think it's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. I could put a gingerbread man right there or something yeah. to be fat and jolly. <laughs> but and anyway, you've got some fabric already that's so I think so. I think so. Got. But I just thought those were cute. But that little uh, prairie schooler Santa is. And Molly, a lot of people commented about Molly's uh dying and it is you are all right what you saw is exactly what what it is it's beautiful so we may have to see molly in the kitchen okay oh and i did go back and i had the the colors i thought i didn't have i had and i had to buy one but i did buy the like the tans and colors that i think are going to be more true to tea dyeing yeah. and all that stuff so anyway so last but certainly not least this was broken into six pieces six parts to a series i'm sorry my the color well the color's not too bad yeah. it is a my lovely sewing tools sampler and what i i do not intend to do this whole sampler but what i do love is look at all the sewing motifs, the motifs. that would go on pin cushions or thread yeah. books or yeah. uh, scissor fob they're just darling all those yeah. gorgeous i can see one of them stitched on a very oh. uh, 
when you can fray the edges and put it on yes. a piece of scrap paper and a small frame around it. We talked about doing something like that for Christmas. Yes. So they so had wonderful little things there. So then in addition, beautiful. that was, I don't know, that was over several months. Yeah. Uh, September 2009. Now, kill the pink ruffle. That makes me want to gag a little bit. I'm not a pink ruffle kind of gal. But anyway, isn't that strawberry darling? So That's I'm thinking, really wouldn't that be cute? It's just really, really cute. I don't know how big it is. Really cute. Five inches, it says. Yeah. So that you know, could I'm be, thinking, wouldn't that be darling on the front of a pin cushion with, book or something? Uh, with queen stitch? On well, the, how do I know? Let's see. I don't even know what a queen stitch is. Um, Why are those round looking? I'm, she might. Oh, I'd have to read it here. We have to read it. We have. I'll have to help Molly maybe with that stitch. No, Kitty, I just like the picture. <laughs> they should all just be crosses. Okay, you so then this is the one that Mom, that uh, Michelle, Mom, Mom <laughs> TV. Yeah, Mama loves that TV. Michelle held up. Oh, I don't know if you can see it well enough. But anyway, isn't that That's cute, that black work very cool. pattern? And the I love needle. it. So again, it was like a sewing Older. motif thing. So mm -hmm. I'm keeping. And then this little fella was in one of the issues. And I love him. Make do and mend. That's Isn't sweet. he sweet? Not going to be pink. But anyway, um, but it's in those blues and browns and teal. Yeah, and mother of pearl finishes mm -hmm. or something. So I'm thinking if I don't do a needlebook now or a thread, you know, something, roll or something, I have no excuse. I should. And then this was in one of the books, and it just, I just love it. This idea, oh, it says, This idea that you may see. And when you do, remember me. Oh, I'm going to cry. Isn't that sweet? Like now, in the Blackbird book, they have one that's remember me. Remember Forget me, me not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I think is beautiful. But doesn't that look old, old, old? And for those of you who are mamas like me who want to make your children feel guilty occasionally, uh, doesn't that make your children? <laughs> they couldn't possibly throw this pillow away. <laughs> you see this pillow at Goodwill? Bad yeah. child, bad you child. Gotta grab that, huh? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so those were all from that subscription. Those, however many articles they had from that, the gift of stitching. And, Thank you, um, Michelle. Michelle, Thank you, Michelle has taken um, of reproducing some samplers, and they're apps. The tulip one I absolutely love. I, so a lot of hers. Are check out her so website too. I'm not sure what her website is, but I'm sure by searching "Mama Loves UGB," you can mm -hmm. you can absolutely find some of the. And those of Some you who are asking me, two, oh. I think two she did. Mm -hmm. um, Excuse me. Really nice. Those of you who ask me how I make the little cabochons, you know, and all that stuff, I watched her video to learn the, you know. Her technique. Her technique mm -hmm. of doing them, and then I designed the stuff, you know, on the thing. Do you want me to show this now? And just yeah, why don't way? you show that now? Okay. And then I'm going to. If you watch one of our earlier videos, Kathy showed a thing, and she kept pulling out little pieces from it and all. And one of them was a little thing she unwound, and it was the cutest little cross stitch across it. It was so pretty. Well, I looked around my room. This was something that a YouTube friend sent me in 2013, so a, a day or two ago. And what it is is just a spool, you know, a wooden spool, and it's a piece of, uh, you know, linenish type fabric. But she's attached snippets of trims and roses and buttons and things, and it just wraps around this spool. So I'm thinking to myself, self, I'm thinking, I want to do this, but Christmas. You know, maybe with one of those verses from the song or something, or with some little. But I, I want to include the buttons and the lace, but I want it to have little cross stitch pieces of some holly yeah. or little yeah. cross stitch pieces of, you know, a star little or something. Things you've like. seen. But over anyway, the top. so those, some I've seen where some of y'all have tall wooden spoons or sh spoons, spools or sharp. I just thought that was a sweet touch, and I know I loved this. And a great way to use up. You know that little flower you couldn't throw away, or that one button you've been treasuring, or something. Mm. I just thought that was cute. Yeah, so. Or a charm that you just haven't. Yeah, been able gotta to put it on something. So. Yeah, okay. Everything. So I went to the attic. Oh my gosh! I just and Jean is wonderful. It was great to see her again, um, and see uh, Carolyn was there, and oh, for some of the other gals that she's got at the shop, a couple new gals. But I was able to finally pick up. It's been there a while, but my little Kana. Wonderful, beautiful scissors. I do have another one on order um, with Jean. Um, they take a little while to come in, so but mm -hmm. just just pretty, and you know you get to a point where you, one can never have too many scissors. So I may have showed this. This is Margaret White, and this is a sassafras sampler, 
And let me pull out of here, let me just grab it really quick, the colors I love. So I picked up some linen and I can't find the color of the linen, but I, I did get linen and NPI, the call for only, only for the NPIs um, mm. that I think are going to be. I, what has me attracted to this sampler is the little windmill on the bottom. Oh, there we go. And I love this color linen. I'm going to open it up so you can see it. This is uh, Newport Beach needles and flax. But the color of the threads, I think, are beautiful. But the linen has a little bit of rose tint to it. So you can see how pretty that is going to look. That like. is really Isn't pretty. Isn't that with these colors? So Kathy, yeah. on this picture, this mm -hmm. is the original sampler. Isn't yeah, it? that's the original sampler. Because I'm seeing the nail yeah. marks in the yeah. linen. That's that one. That is beautiful. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, and then um, I have had this in my stash for a while, but mostly because I have never really found the linen for it and I was not ever really serious about doing it but I will have to say I'm so eclectic on samplers of course are my absolute first love but I do like small tiny things that say a lot even though they're little so this particular one and she is no longer designing from what I understand but this is Babe's Honey Farm sampler and I did pick up the linen I'm going to stitch this on is 40 count seraphin sunflower fields. I think it's perfect for it. So I'm anxious to get that started. Um, I'm, I'm going to use just the DMC. I'm not going to go crazy on, you know, over dyes or what have you with that thread. But, um, and I have stitched a couple of her pieces. And one of the sets of smalls that I stitched was the, and I wish I could remember the name, but it was all ocean. Um, I'll have to just bring it next time. You guys will have to come back to see that one because it's just so pretty. It had the thimble holder and the scissors holder and the fob and the box and just absolutely beautiful her designs are. And every once in a while, I kind of go to the side a little bit from a sampler and pull one of these out. So that definitely. fabric is going to Isn't be that perfect. perfect for it? That it's is cottagey delicious. looking. It's summer looking. It's industrious with the bees and I just think it's going to be and the a fun work, sweet stitch. And the dye work you can see a little bit the brown is bleeding out a little yeah. bit to a shade of rose or right. you know oh my gosh. So Jean pretty. had that out there. Then I picked up this pattern um, Fox and Rabbit and this is uh, Margaret Felicia Dyson. Now I'm going to tell you that I had this I saw this pattern when Fox and Rabbit put it out like this. So when she published it, actually, it's these colors. But as you've maybe gotten to know me, I know Molly has, if I see a picture, this is what drew me to it. So I went and pulled threads before I even had the pattern. I was hauling that picture around with me and every stitching place I'd go to. And these are the colors that I came up with. If you want to flip that, I think I... I think I did pretty close to what she initially was using, although I know she was using the Belsois silks. So I went and pulled and tried to match these to what I thought I saw in the picture. Then this is the linen I picked out. But Molly, this is the one I was telling you about. This happens to be 36 Seraphin Old Stationery. Um, I It might be, and I wish you could see it, it's might be I don't know on the camera it looks great so I'm not sure if in it is person, more rosy it's in more person. rosy in it's per more rosy can in I person. pull it back will it look any different not really huh um so I'm wondering maybe with Molly's um talent if we can't brown I think it really just needs to be browned up but I think I captured the colors it anything I do will make it darker yeah okay pretty good with the floss even though with these colors with with them on it I don't think it's bad I don't think it's bad at all I think there, it could this be one color is telling me you know good little, luck on that yeah uh, but it's it's different enough here right but one strand of it may but be. we may have this is to, much pinker it is light. much pinker if it were that color that's coming across on the screen I would be screaming home running and you know hands in the air going yay 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 she'd be through with us she'd be but going. I didn't mind this at the shop 
either. So what count is this? This is, um, I think it was 36 count. Oh my God, Kathy, that's stunning. Seraphim. I'm going to put this over here because I'm going to be placing an order right when we're through with well, these. Well, we're done with okay. that. <laughs> i got to get those threads. I don't know what So power, we'll but. see. Um, and I got quite a big piece of it. But like Molly did say, it is definitely com It is definitely more rose, rose color than what is coming across. Although I think it would be really pretty. And I love yeah. what they've done here. I'm good, you know, happy for them. But boy, those colors you picked out are yummy. I think... I think I match, and like I even reached out to um, Karen a couple of times and said, I just loved, loved, loved the old colors that she had. And I don't know what the reasoning behind the change of colors, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best to, to do it to way, the way I saw it, the way I envisioned it. My only concern is maybe I might need to have some adjustments done to the fabric. And maybe we just, I don't know. We'll have to see. That'll be a that'll be a time to tell kind of a thing, I guess. Kathy, this fabric is stunning, isn't uh, it? Uh, just isn't yeah. it pretty? Mm -hmm. And then I did show Fanny's heart, uh, Fanny's flowers, the last time. This is uh, by Shakespeare's Peddler. From what I, this was part of their Christmas packet, so I feel very fortunate that I have it. I actually picked up the floss for it. These were the colors, and this is. Um, the fabric I'm doing this on is 36 count winter brew, and I would wanted to show you the colors. I think the colors are really pretty, and I'm gonna do that on this. So I got those colors from the attic. Pretty pretty. I love that winter's brew. Isn't that neat? That's very pretty. Yeah. You know my taste is usually like a copper spade. I bounce from one thing to another. That last thing. That got you going? Oh my god. They got the blood rush. I did, the pattern is beautiful. Yeah. Not my pattern. The colors and the linen. I like that, huh? Then I had uh, showed you Jean Stanwix, and I know a couple people are stitching this, and I did show this uh, linen the last time. Um, and I thought, oh, I'm going to get the NPIs when I get out there. But then I realized I have a lot of NPIs at home. So the only one I did get was the Clary. I think it's Clary. Uh, so I come home and I'm thinking, I must have the MPIs, and I don't. Um, but this one is kind of fun to fool around with anyway. And let me tell you, the linen on this one was, uh, oh, here it is. Sorry about that. This is 36 count earthen from PTP. But I think I can make, I'm okay with fooling around with some color on this one. I think I can make that sampler with the color, the NPIs that I think are. are and that linen is more true to color. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm going to be okay with that. So I did pick up, um, I know, it just gets your blood going. It's like, oh, I want to stitch 25 hours a day. Unfortunately, or at least go to the attic and buy this stuff. I know. So that's that one. And then um, I picked up. I showed you Mary Wigglesworth. I picked this up, I think, the last time I was up north. But I I grabbed the NPIs for it, and I'm going to stitch it on that same piece that I was going to stitch the one from Sassafras, Sassafras Samplers on because I think it, too, will be absolutely pretty on that same linen. And that's this one. I'll open it up. Got it all surged, it's just waiting to be stitched. But I think these colors and the roses, so the roses a little bit better, I think is gonna be really pretty. I love that. I love the way that I think that's gonna look on that. Pretty pretty, huh? Mm hmm I just think Molly, we have to take you to the attic. We have to go to the attic. So the again, only dilemma is like I'm loving these colors. If they don't do them in a 28 count or an eight, I'm yeah. well, stacking them up. And again, this was Newport Beach uh, by Needles and Flax, so that goes with that one. I just think they're going to be pretty, pretty, pretty with all those pretty roses on there. And then, I had now some what kind of thread is this? NPI silks. I know now why everybody loves them. Aren't they? Oh. Yeah. I had had um, Ann Oliver, that's this one, and I picked up uh, Seraphim Chai to stitch her on. I'm going to just 
deter. I don't know why I say just because I do enjoy working with working on the DMC, but I'm gonna deter on chai with the DMC. And let me open up this piece for you. This was really a pretty piece too. It's kind of got a little bit more of a chai tone to it, but I think the colors are gonna look really nice on that one too. So that's these. That one. These little girls are so pretty. I know. She does such a beautiful job. Mm -hmm. I will say Nicola at Hands Across the Sea does phenomenal. Oh, yeah, that's that one. Okay. And then I, just for giggles, <laughs> I picked up Weeks Straw. Can't go wrong with a piece of straw. It's warm looking. It's, and look how pretty it is. That's Isn't beautiful. Just scream fall. I was watching a young lady who I just love from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Oh yeah, yep. And she was showing some fall things. Yep. That fabric would be pretty, would be pretty with that. Perfect. So I don't have anything going with that yet. Um, I did pick up then some fabric. I picked up a piece of. Oh, this was just for fun. Um, this is uh, Lear Beard, Liar Bird, Fox and Rabbit forty count, kind of a turquoisey. I love that. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. I know. And then I had picked up, I showed this pattern last time, but I did get the threads. Um, this is Brenda Gervais Easter Peak Parade. And I I didn't really want to do it brown, so I have more of a turquoise. And then these are the colors. I think that's going to look nice on there, too. Hope you all are able to see how pretty the colors are. It's kind of hard to display the colors with the fabric so that you get a good feel for what we see. Trying to get yeah. the sun to catch it. Isn't that cute? So that's that. And I hope I'm not storming through this too quick. I'll throw that one in here. Storming through this too quick. For This was uh, Weeks Dyed Works and this was Twilight, 36 count Twilight. I think that'll look nice on there for that one. I debated about this one. So the one that I really hadn't planned anything for. And then um, just a couple patterns that I picked up. So this Jean had this in her newsletter. And quaint rose needle arts. And I was like, hmm. Well, let me tell you, I was all checked out at the needlework. The boys were on their way to pick us up. And my sister goes, oh, can I see what you're working <coughs> on to the lady across? And she goes, oh, would you like to see that in person? And she pulled this thing out, and I will tell you that she could have rung up a whole nother, turn it, out, turn it over. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. From looking at it, even on these pictures, you're just not. Until you go to the attic and see what this lady is doing. She is stitching hers on 56, I think it's 5660 that she's doing. What is 5660? There's two Fif numbers. The 56 stitches one way, 60 another. The warp okay. and the weft. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely beautiful. The difference between this picture and this picture is even phenomenal. Yeah. This is just and you know the funny part about it, it looking at the picture kind of comes across a little bit more religious than maybe what would st seeing it stitched it's not for some reason it, it is there's a very nice balance between the birds and the flowers and the angel just lovely lovely and then I absolutely love needle made designs Linda Vincent I had to have her new one I think this is going to be this is typical sampler for me you know, it's like a sampler. <laughs> um, so I had to have that. And then, of course, uh, with all the red going on out there, Jean has a table full of yeah. of red samplers. And we saw, my sister and I saw this one. I wish I could pronounce that. Tetelestai from Quaint Rose Needle Arts. Anyway, beautifully stitched. Stitch small. I think it might even be one of Jean's stitch that Jean had done. Beautiful. Oh my god. This, this was on the same uh, same gal that designed the one we just showed to this one and the reason I, I, I looked at this one I love the morning glory on it. Oh. I love morning glories. And I just thought that was really pretty. And then of course um, I picked up, I can't show the book, but if you guys the Tisket a Tasket 
Oh, wrong way again. Uh, Needlework Press. Very sweet, sweet basket designs in there. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't get it. Some nice smalls, and unfortunately, they're, you know, with the graph and that, I don't want to show that, but just some really, really pretty, um, pretty designs. Well worth diving into that. And then I picked up Colonial Blooms uh, by Scarlet House by Tanya. And I will say that my Colonial Blooms, I think I might use this piece that I got at the attic and do a little, go wrong way, a little bit more teal with the colors. Can I see the pattern? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. But I think that will look pretty on there too. Whoa, you just change that big flower? Yeah, something. Mm -hmm. I'll have to fool around with it. And then, that's all I have. And then, this is stunning. This young lady was 10 years old. That's amazing. That is amazing. I have I, a few, a little bit I, older honestly than Well, even um, the, the one that I'm working on, um, Susan, uh, you, you have to wonder what they were going through in their lives. That's why the Bristol samplers are so fascinating, the discipline on some of these samplers that these girls had. My, my, my only thing is, you know, you hear about when these some kids some kids are in school and they get hit by the hit with a ruler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I worry about that. It's like, oh, if you made a wrong stitch, would you get the ruler? Hopefully mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. um, you just because they are so perfect. Mm -hmm. They perfect. are just so delicately, perfectly done that each stitch much must have been thought through. And but I do wonder what the the lifestyle was when they were stitching and the lighting that they had and the magnification was probably zip and the threads you know um back in the day if you had nice threads and linen you were pretty well off you were uh -huh. considered to be pretty well off so i consider myself well off after all <laughs> and from making all this back for most 10 year old girls there are some bookworms i was a bit of a bookworm mm -hmm. growing up and all that stuff so you have your quiet times and all but the ability to sit still and yeah. concentrate on this meticulous yeah. work for long hours at a time Absolutely. is almost against the grain yeah. you know of growing up I, like, I just don't of course I had all boys I just I just don't see I've all it's funny I have three boys but I have all granddaughters and it's would any of them sit there long enough to accomplish something that these girls did at mm -hmm. nine and ten years old yeah, so I don't know you hope all is well okay so, Kathy this is phenomenal it was fun, Molly. I must get Molly out to the attic. At one way or the, the other, we're going to take a drive out there so Molly can be wowed like the rest of us all were at our first visit. And, and I just, I wish Ada came in all these pretty colors. Or, I haven't tried my Lugana yet. I'm going to try Lugana and see. I, I think, I think, it, I think you have to go out there too. I think you need to see the colors and see uh -huh. the counts and you, yeah. you know what you like. But I've heard many, many, many a woman say on floss too. And I went out and Jean said, "Oh, you can do it on fifty-six. You can do it on sixty or something. And it's like, "Oh no, I can't. Don't, don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You know. I so I, I'll be curious to see. But these colors are stunning. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Mm. Beautiful okay. dyers. Beautiful okay. fabrics. I have another question, y'all. That helped me with the uh, y'all that helped me with the thread works. Thank you so much. I appreciate your input more than you can know. So my next question is. When y'all go, uh, last week there was StitchCon and yeah. a Bristol sampler thing, and there was a couple two, or three, up, yeah. two or three different things, and I don't know, people bring stuff and make stuff and all that stuff. Those of you who are in the floss tube, what would you call them, swaps? Swaps. Okay. I see a lot of people who are printing lots of um, the same floss tube or something and give them out. I'm neat. Are those printed like from a business card printer, or did they print them? What are they printed on? And almost, some of them almost are plasticky. Or you know glossy, I guess I should say something. But I would love some input on what your favorite. Uh, there's a method to my madness or a reason for this. Uh, what your favorite floss tube paper is, or you know feel is, mm -hmm. or something like that. I would just be curious to see the ones that I do for Kathy and I. I love them. We're using a pretty heavy weight um, card stock, card stock. Mm -hmm. and then I'm creating them in my you know Photoshop. And then converting them to where Cricut cuts them out. So we've glued even two pieces of. Oh, when we began, we were gluing some together, together and all that stuff. So, we're so kind of curious what everyone else is. Uh -huh. Whatever everyone else is doing. Yeah, you know, I just want to see. Are ordering them from what's the big company by Vista Prints? That's what I need to know. You know I want to know that. Ordering that way and. Or is or, or a lot of y'all using some of y'all are doing beautiful things, but are you using just uh, 
cardstock? Heavy duty cardstock or what? I have not, I heard one, just one, floss took her a while back talking about she can't use these because when she pulls her thread, she tears them. I would tear my thread, I think, before I tore the paper, but uh, I've not had that trouble and I'm pretty much a bull yeah. in a china shop. So I don't know. I'm, I have pretty I'm good happy luck with just my with the one stone. strand too. Yeah. So. And then I'm enough of a, a squirrel uh, to where I'm, I'm happy with my thread drops. I'm going to use them more than once. But I'm also going to want to create new ones just because they're just pretty. Just because we can. Yeah, they're pretty and, you know, <laughs> poof, poof, you know. In the meantime, out, Molly so. has teased me. This is like Halloween. Well, okay, so this last week for me, while uh, Kathy was uh, off enjoying a visit with her sister and going to the attic and, you know, uh, spending uh, and bucos, uh, yeah, bucos, bucos of money, uh, buying yeah. all this gorgeous stuff. I had a, one group of ladies over and we did some uh, crafting I think it was eight of us that day, seven of us that day. And uh, so we had fun with that day. And then like the next day or so, I had a, uh, what, 12, 11 ladies over 12 with me. And we played, what did we play? I forgot the Bunko. name. Bunko. Bunko. So I had, to have, I had to clean my house two days in a row. That was just not something I planned on doing again. No. But um, anyway, so I had stuff all around the house and all this kind of stuff. So I, I had fun. I kept myself busy, did a lot of stitching, did a lot of sewing and uh, mm -hmm. things like that. Actually put together a couple more pieces on my quilt. I've got to get that thing. She done. missed me though. Well, I was whining like a missed her and missed the attic. But uh, anyway, I'm so glad she had a good trip. Yeah, and it was good. Trip. I was happy to see my sister. It was really wonderful to see Jean. Um, mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. talk about a wonderful lady. But And then to go shopping at her shop, I just... And I can't imagine seeing that. Uh, its own. I can't imagine seeing all that stuff in person. No. Because these pictures are pretty, but like you say, yeah. like even when I see Kathy stuff, seeing it in person, oh my God. It is... Night and day. It's night and day gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, so now we are officially just rambling. We'll wrap this thing up. <laughs> Kathy, what you got? I just can't thank you all enough for coming back and, and keeping an eye on us. And we're, we're thankful for all the viewers out there that have liked our channel and subscribed and all that fun stuff. And Molly, okay. what do you got? Uh, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get Kathy over here, wrangle her in one day, and to come in. I probably could set up a camera in my own kitchen. But I'm oh, thinking because be I have cooking. to go from the thing to the thing to the thing to the thing, I might have to have uh, and Christmas something. Is coming. And Christmas is coming. And Molly, right? I forgot how soon July is after June. Yeah, it's like there's no months in between. What is it's that? Like but uh, we do have like a week and a half, I think, or so. Yeah. So, so, we got, so we're, we're working up some fun stuff. I'm hoping so. Hoping Christmas so. In July. Anyway. And Pecan if nothing fudge. else is it. Whatever. If nothing else is important, <sighs> make some good fudge. It was good. So, uh, anyway, oh, God. okay, here we are rambling again. Yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye. Uh, look forward to seeing y'all again. Bye.